Hey everyone, this is 8th March and I'm here again in a week's time to discuss this uh, new policy which the government of India, Arun Jaitley, finance minister, announced in his budget, uh, I think a week ago. This policy is basically the policy of inflation targeting. So uh, very quickly I will explain to you what inflation targeting is and uh, how that will have an impact on the Indian economy. Then I will also talk about some other monetary developments with that inflation targeting policy. Mainly now the government is going to have uh, its you know say in the framing of the monetary policy. So they're going to they're going to you know uh, create a monetary policy committee, and also they want to take away some of the powers of the Reserve Bank of India in regulating the financial market. So. Arun Jaitley also proposed to amend the RBI Act and take away some of the uh, powers of RBI and give those powers to the Security Exchange Board you know, of India, SEBI. So let us first talk very quickly what inflation targeting is. So in inflation targeting now what the Reserve Bank of India is required to do by the Indian government and remember Reserve Bank of India is wholly owned by the Indian government, it is Indian government's bank basically. So now the Modi government and Arun Jaitley finance minister uh, is going to, you know, they have fixed already uh, uh, the target. So the Reserve Bank of India will target 4% inflation, annual inflation rate. So what they will do is they have this, that, that is what is called inflation target. And they have a band of plus or minus two percentage, you know, above and below. So they will have to remain in this inflation targeting band of two to six percent. And RBI will mainly use its interest rate policy mechanism to kind of achieve this target. So what is what they're going to do is that, for example, uh, if they see that inflation is going, inflation as defined in terms of CPI and WPI price uh, rise in the general price label so when that price is you know going above six percentage rbi will increase the interest rate sucking the liquidity from the market lower the money supply from the market and you know, bring down the inflation rate into that band again and uh, conversely if uh, the inflation you know uh, rate goes below two percent then rbi will start you know reducing the interest rate flooding the market with new money, increasing the liquidity and that will basically uh, increase the prices again and that will bring that into that inflation band of 2 to 6 percent and the target that they have set is 4 percent target plus or 2 minus here and there. Now that is the technicality of what inflation targeting is. Now we have to understand what, what the reality of inflation targeting that is the political language that I was using so far, but if I use the current language, we have an understanding that inflation is nothing but a tax. Basically, whenever the RBI increases the supply of money, uh, when they print money, they create out of thin air, the supply of money goes up. That is inflation itself. The price rise is one of the effects of inflation. And as I said, whenever the price goes up, actually it's not the price that is going up. It is the purchasing power of the Indian currency rupee that is going down. So when the purchasing power of Indian currency rupee goes down, what happens is that that much amount of income is reduced from your pocket. So without even touching your pocket, the government and its central bank, they steal money out of your pocket, you know, because the purchasing power is now reduced. So now they have fixed, so basically inflation is a tax, and you know the tax is robbery because uh, whatever you know uh, uh, money that you are earning with your hard work government is just taking that away at the barrel of the gun they put the gun on your head and say that you pay up otherwise you will throw you behind the bars so taxation is robbery inflation is taxation so inflation is basically robbery so that means government and RBI has now set a target of 4% annual robbery of your income now that means officially they are going to steal 4% purchasing power of your hard earned income every year. 
And remember, this is every year, so year after year, it is going to kind of accumulate. Okay, so you can you can imagine the Indian currency rupee will lose its purchasing power rapidly. Now that is one thing that they have this ban two to six percent is another thing all the thing altogether to remain in the ban because you know the historical experiences show that most of the central banks were kind of following inflation targeting. They hardly achieve it. Like for example, in these BRICS nation countries, Brazil is the country which targets inflation but which hardly achieves it. For example, they are, they always fail. So what will happen is six percent is official kind of robbery rate, stealing rate. They will definitely overshoot it. So you know, robbery, stealing of your purchasing power is baked in the cake right now. That's the policy which the Modi government is going to follow right now. Okay. So you know, you have to be now work double hard, right, to just you know keep up with the price rise because inflation is basically going to eat away into your purchasing power income. Not only that, now uh, in this budget, uh, they are also announcing a uh, monetary policy committee. So, so far what is happening is the RBI governor, for example, Raghuram Rajan, he is the one who kind of determines what should be the rate of interest in the economy, which is itself very dangerous because as I said, interest rate is a price of time. It's a time market phenomenon and it can only be determined by the market forces of you know, demand and supply, it can only be determined by the society's time preference rate, how much you want to consume in present and how much you want to consume in future. So that saving and investment preferences, a saving and consumption preferences, that is what determines the market interest rate. But instead of that, what we have today is this one guy sitting in, you know, RBI, he determines the market interest rate. So now the government thinks that that is not good because Whenever the economy is in trouble, like right now, they want to reduce the interest rate and pump a lot of money and start the so-called infrastructure programs, fiscal pump priming program, as Keynes advised them. And and uh, people like Raghuram Rajan is kind of very adamant and he is adamant and he is not kind of uh, reducing the interest rate very rapidly. So they want to <clears throat> take away that power from the RBI governor. So for that, they're going to frame a monetary policy committee. And I think uh, we don't know what will be the kind of contain of the committee, but at least uh, there, are going, there are going to be eight people on that committee, and uh, the the committee will kind of you know uh, uh, have uh, people from government, like bureaucrats are going to be there, politicians are going to be there, uh, bankers are going to be there. So ultimately, the power of RBI governor to frame the policy will be gone and you, you remember when the government politicians are going to determine how much money should be printed they're just gonna go on a you know money printing spree uh, in a way I think that that's going to be better because they can finish you know this whole monetary system with a one bout of hyperinflation is sort of kind of killing us every day with this creeping inflation right just finish it once and for all so that we can start with some better system you know just remove the paper currency monetary system, it collapses and maybe we can replace it by commodity or you know, gold standard basically. So that is another thing <clears throat> and not only that, after the budget was announced immediately the Reserve Bank Governor R <clears throat> Raghuram Rajan also kind of <clears throat> surprised the market by reducing the rate again by 25 basis points. So what is what he did basically is that he created more inflation. He's going to print money, reduce the interest rate. That is going to result in higher prices. So basically, more inflation, nothing more than that. And this inflation target will do one, you know, do three, four things, you know, immediately. Three things basically, mainly, because this is going to be inflation, and inflationary policy always results into three major effects. One is obviously the price rise. Things are going to become costly because the currency will lose its purchasing power year over year, day by day. This will also generate boom and bust cycle, business cycle, because uh, the policy of artificially lowering the interest rate will create many undesirable investments, what we call men investment, which will have to be liquidated later on when the boom will get out of hand, inflation will peak, like price inflation, and then again, RBI will in increase the interest rates. So at that time, this bubble will bust and the economy will tank. So we're going to have this 
movement by cycles, you know, it will generate this movement by cycles. Uh, and not only that, this is also going to widen the income and wealth inequality, which is already been wide in this country. Because whatever money RBI is going to print is going to go to the politically well connected people for us, right? Business tycoons and builders and car makers and anybody who is well connected with the banking system. So they will get the money first, they'll spend it, and at the time, price you know, price will start to go up. And in the end, when the money will go in the poor people's hands, prices have already gone so much up that they cannot afford to buy anything. So this is how rich people become really rich and poor people are going to become really poor. So we are going to see, in fact, by lowering this interest rate, what Raghuram Rajan has did is that he has actually uh, sowed the seed of the next crisis. Okay, so this inflation target is going to do nothing else, but it's the same continuation of the Keynesian inflationary policy, and it does not bode well for the economy. We are going to have price rises. We are going to see boom bust cycles continuing. Maybe bigger bubbles are going to build up in the economy, which will bust spectacularly in future, and we are going to see widening income and wealth inequality. So you guys will have to stay very you know, watchful. Also, I think uh, they announced uh, some gold measures, but they are paper gold. I am not really, you know, kind of into that. Maybe in, you know, future blog and uh, future analysis, I will come out with a detailed analysis of that. But my my you know suggestion and advice uh, is always this: that you should not be going into any kind of paper gold scheme. Keep your physical gold with you because that is the only insurance policy that we have in today's paper currency inflationary world. So you stay you know well over there and I'll come and you know discuss about these gold measures next time when I analyze those schemes and I'm keeping an eye on what is going on and I'll keep you updated with that. Thank you very much for watching me and good night for today.